Hey guys. Hey man. Oh, thanks for picking me up. Listen, I I got a real problem. Uh, uh. Yeah, I've been working at it all morning and I, I mm. follow the directions, but this mm. oh. this is just not a plane, dude. Oh, is that what that's supposed to be? Yeah, it's got the propellers. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah those that is kind of stuff cool. and oh, Dude, I'm you just you just broke my plane. I'm sorry. And done. Oh, hey guys, I just booked us a flight to Haiti. Uh it, why would you do that? Yeah, Dan. Where else are we gonna get authentication food for Food Unchained? Duh. We don't have to go to Haiti for authentication food, Dan. Where are we gonna get it then? You, Sharon, Pennsylvania. At, at Haitian, Haitian sensation. sensation. I'll book a flight. <laughs> hey, whatever, man. As long as we don't have to use Greg's plane. Sharon, Pennsylvania to try some authentic cuisine at a place called Haitian Sensation. I also hear that they got some pretty great coffee. Well, I'm sitting around. Let's go order some food. Here in Pennsylvania, and when I walked through the door, I felt like I was in Haiti. It, I don't even feel like I'm in PA anymore. This place is great. The music, the atmosphere. I'm having so much fun. Well, helping people has always been a passion of mine. So for me, that's that's all it's about. You know, life is short. So what I'm here, I want to make the best of it. I want to help as many people as I can with no regret is 100% commitment. Be able to take people from here and take them to Haiti and then have them come back with a different perspective. Make sure that we know that how grateful we should be for how blessed we are in this country. To know that we don't need that much to live and live happily. Because those people in Haiti, they taught us some great lesson. Is that they have very little, but yet they have everything. This restaurant attracts a lot of people that have taught me a lot about myself and this restaurant has helped me learning the value of what a mission really is. Tyler, why are you not on the road, dude? <laughs> I'm dead serious. Why are you not out on the road, brother? Even if it, this place were to fall and collapse, the mission would still always be together. Me, me and Joseph have already decided no matter what happens, we're always going to be finding a way to contribute to the mission. This is a great country. It gives you all the opportunity to make something of yourself, to make a difference. And from where I come here not speaking one word of English, and to be able to go out and, and, and work hard, fortunately I have some very good people in my life. I'm blessed. Some people come here just get, get the coffee. But if they get the coffee, they smell the food cooking and say, we'll be back for lunch. Some people come here and say, is there, actually, is there really Haitian here? Is that really authentic food? Yeah, it is as authentic as it can be. process of the rice and beans. The majority of people that you know, even good chef, good cook, have a difficulty of cooking rice. And so I love that process. There's, a, there's something so simple and unique about cooking the rice and then for it to come out right. And a lot of people that cook that taste our rice and beans, and, and it's like, how do you do that? I've never tasted any rice and beans like that. 
I don't know how to tell you. I don't know how to do it, but. You said, how hot do you want your, uh, or how spicy do you want your jerk chicken? I said, it's spicy. And he just looked at me. He got this look in his eye. <laughs> The hell with chain restaurants, they don't compare. I'll do local anytime I can. Oh yeah, it's got the flavor though. I, oh man. You do the great food and the mission behind it is amazing. And they can feel the, the comfort when they're walking here and looking at what we do here. It's not being fake, it's about, it's about being genuine and being passionate. Love is the key It's the equation for harmony And you know it would feel good to be free When we're together The thing that we do here, we want to make a difference. We want people to come and join us of making a difference. It's about what we have and how to share the blessing that God gave us. And if we can use some of that to go and change lives around the world, it's a beautiful thing. Because we come with nothing, we will live with nothing. We do not know when our days is up. Listen to me and hear my cries. Oh, baby, won't you live a song? Love is the key. It's the equation for you and me. And you know it will feel good to be free When we're together That's why we fight for a right to love Given from the angels up above And all love will fly as free as a dove Forever Every day you wake up God give you another opportunity To make a difference so it's important for people to know what we are here for. We are here to help. We are here to make a difference. And we don't just ask people to just come here and enjoy a great cup of coffee or a great meal and seeing little kids' faces on the wall that we are helping. We want you to come with us. Well, Mike, you were right. This place did have one-of-a-kind coffee. And the food took my taste buds on a journey. But you know what? It had an inspiring mission behind it, and that just made it all the better. We may even find ourselves going on that mission trip someday, but until then, we got some more great local food to find. And with that, season one comes to a close. But rest assured, we are in pre-production for season two as we speak. We have already begun scouting out locations, looking for more local hotspots, broadening our horizons. We've been keeping up with and appreciate all the suggestions you've sent us, but don't stop sending them in. If you have a favorite restaurant, brewery, or even an eating challenge you want to see one of us try and probably fail, send it our way. <laughs> Dan will give it a shot. <laughs> I'd like to start out by thanking our uh, production company behind all of this, Menagerie Studio. They've been with us every step of the way for this season, and uh, they haven't stopped helping since day one. We also want to thank all of the restaurant owners, patrons, and employees who allowed us to not only talk to them, but go all access around their places and be able to show off all that they've done. And from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you, the viewers. We've made a lot of new friends on this journey, and I can't wait for season two. <laughs> so hey, remember, stay tuned and, and stay, stay hungry. hungry.